Hi there, this is that gas channel and in this video I'm going to show you this 1961 Lincoln Continental convertible that's made in a 1 to 18 scale by Road Signature. So if you like those big cars, those classic American cars, don't miss this video because we're going to unbox it and take a better look at this car. So let's go on. Certificate of Authenticity, which is very common on those better brands. And this Lincoln is a very, was a very nice car at, at a time when it was launched back in 1961 and was, completing, uh, was a completely new car for the time. And it was also the first year in which Continental was adopted for cars that were not from the Mark series, Mark 1 or Mark 2, Mark 3, whatever. And here we have the Lincoln. As we can see, it's a very elegant car. It's a convertible with the top up. And this car is really nice. It's a presidential car. The lines of this car are very interesting. Since 1961, it was an innovation. It was a completely brand new Lincoln. And it looks very nice with this black color. Those trims, those fins. They're much more modern than the 1960, but they are also very elegant and very nice looking, really. It looks classic. It looks classy at the same time. Those white ball tires with the stainless steel wheel covers look elegant, look very unique for this car. This hood ornament, the grill mash, and the headlights, all lines of the car in general, the wood grain and interior looks look all very elegant. The car is very elegant indeed. And it's very innovative since it's a convertible four-door car. The top is made in plastic with a sort of a rubber texture. So it simulates rubber both outside and inside, so it has a black liner inside that looks very and nice. And with the open car, we can take a better look at the interior. We can see it more it's clearly. It's not only a four-door convertible, but it has suicide rear doors, just like the 1957 and 1958 Cadillac Eldorado Broman. Both hood and trunk open in the opposite direction. And we can see the engine, which is a big engine, and a trunk that opens this way so it can store the top when it's open so it really goes all the way back one car like this is shown in a clip sugar by maroon 5 is exactly like this one i i think it's a 61 act the engine looks very nice we can see the air filter the ac the battery distributor and cables the engine bay itself it's very well made Hoses and wires, reservoir, radiator hose, fan, windshield and windshield wipers, gear lever, some visors, interior. It looks really very nice. You see the carpet, dashboard, wheels and tires look great. Trim, the lines, the open doors, rear wheels, Continental badge doors are very thick. Seats and door panels are very realistic. Mirror, vent window, dashboard is symmetrical, just reminds a little bit of the Mustang, but a little more square, the square side. Wood grain and all controls and steering wheel, the dashboard is actually move. Mirror, on the speedometer, door panels with boot grain, front seats with your armrest, it moves, looks like it's got a compartment but actually it doesn't. The Drunk. rear one is fixed. With a spare tire, it's very big to store the top when it's open. Continental logo, 
which is painted on, but it's very well made. And the top goes all the way down, but it folds. It's not a fiberglass top, just like the one of the Ford in the Fairlane Skyliner. Hinges are not so thick, they're good. And the antenna on the other side. doors, trunk, they all close correctly. There is no misalignment. The model car is very good. It's a very nice piece, really, for those who like classic cars. Front of a car looks nice. It's grill mesh, which is not actual an actual grill, but the, the simulation looks fantastic. And the hood ornament sounded very elegant as well. Dual headlights and the Blinkers and the bumpers and the bumper guards, they're very realistic. As well as the trim at the tip of the fenders. Mirrors, vent windows, the handles are all separate pieces, as well as the trim. And in the rear, this trim that goes from left to right looks very nice with this square mesh. And the Lenko logo at the center. Reverse lights and tail lights are also very nice looking and very realistic. It's a very elegant car with a convertible top. With the top up or with the top down, it's elegant the same way. The lines are nice. It's a, an expression of luxury. And a continental logo in the back looks very nice. It matches well with the antenna tail lights, the wheel covers, and all trims that are supposed to be in this car. The, the chromes are very balanced. The top is very realistic. The door panels, very elegant. And the car as a whole, very nice. Now that's a bumper that really shows respect. The bottom of a car is very well made. It's quite simple, but shows all the details. The engine and tranny, the front suspension, the tranny, mufflers, front suspension, wheels and tires, steering system, the mufflers, the rear suspension with the drive shaft, and the springs, and a gas tank, and the drive shaft which is fixed. Suspension is fixed. Wheels and tires are very realistic. There are no working suspensions, no spinning drive shaft. We can see some screws, but in general, the quality is good. So from zero to 10, I would give this car a 10. I really like Lincoln's and this car is very elegant. And this car is very elegant. The model car is very nice. It's There are no big issues really. It's not the best one, but, but on the other hand, it's a very well-made model car. So I'd like to thank you for all likes and views. Please let me know what you think about this car, what you think about this video in the comments. Please do also follow me on Instagram and don't forget to subscribe and to give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.